Today I'm about to take you guys with me. We went to a real estate shoot. It's a developed area. I'm heading out there to shoot a video and some pictures and maybe a small walkthrough TikTok thing with my phone. So on construction sites, we need to have security helmet and security shoes on. Great. Welcome to the apartment we are going to shoot, or I'm going to shoot. It's a developed apartment, and uh, as you can see, it's staged with a nice balcony and everything. So one thing I like to start is to just take a look and check if everything is all right. Everything is as I like it and details needs to be addressed like this one. Just so on details are looking as it should. I'm shooting with the RS3 Mini, the A7S3. And then I like to use a Cinebloom filter. It looks like this is a soft bloom filter this is a five percent so it doesn't make that much but i think blows the highlights just a little bit just hard I always remember to auto tune it to make sure you distribute the weight correctly like so now the gimbal is ready and we are ready to shoot i shoot in 4k 50 frames per second shot on one over one over 100 the aperture I just adjusted as I go. It depends on the light. The ISO I use 640 or 12,800. That's the two dual light native ISOs in the A7S3 when you shoot on SLR as I do. I shoot most of my stuff at the 16 millimeter. And for a room like this, going in to the room, I would shoot it at 16 millimeter and maybe go to 35 millimeters. I have the gimbal in pan follow mode so the only the pan axis that follows the gimbal not the other one is kind of locked so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to start a little bit further out so i can get some of the opening of the door with me when i go in so it should be like kind of like this and remember to walk like like a ninja, you know, heel, heel to toe, and take your your vibra vibrations from your arms and push it down to your knees, so you you walk like a an old crooked man like this. I'm going to do a a truck shot from one side to another. I can hold the lock on the front of the gimbal to lock it, and just go from the one side to another. See how I don't move my feet i can just place my feet and longer from each other and bounce like this then i like to do go to uh, 35 maybe change the gimbal from the pan follow mode to the ptf mode or follow mode and in this mode your gimbal follows you on the pan axis and when you tilt down and up so i want to use this and see this table right in here and record looking from one side to another down. So you kind of ex kind of see the uh, details here. I'm going to the other room and check my exposure, open the door a bit. The room looks good. Take steps out to get more of the frame with me here. And then I push in in the pan silhouette, pan flower mode. And we can even do a more dramatic look, maybe walk a bit faster because we have to walk in closer right over here. I wanted to start by going in from the door and all the way around and into the walk-in closet. In the edit, I want to uh, reverse because I like the real shot of going from the walk-in closet, you don't know what it is and coming out and see all the room and back to where we come came in. So I would do it like this. I would start from out here and I will walk in all the way around and going in to the walk-in. In the edit, I will make it 
go reverse I need to lower my aperture here to get the right exposure you can see on this one here that I'm, I'm at f-stop 8 to balance the outside perfectly maybe it's hard to see I don't know I will go back on 16 millimeters and I will shoot this scene here like so so coming in to the room maybe going over here you can see the outside maybe something like that how it looks maybe take it from the corner here where you can see where you can see the door to the room we started at and do a little pan while you move forward against the balcony you can do some details too with this flower over here go to 35 millimeters make sure you have the right exposure and just place the focus on the, the flower at the foreground and go orbit around it that's always a cool shot to use in these scenarios maybe coming from the corner here to the kitchen just nice and slowly in a straight line I'm basically gonna repeat these processes and make some small videos from from all over So you just you guys just saw the edit and I have shot some nice things here. Now I want to show you how I uh, shoot my BTS content. The client wants the video in vertical, so I have these vertical on top. Then I just use my phone and I replace and place it somewhere in the shot. I think it could look cool. Take my phone in the native app. Go to 0 0.5 the wide. And just like here, I can replace. I can place it here up against this one, so you can see. I can come down from the hall and see. Make a shot out here. So I'm just gonna press on the volume button to start record, and I will place you guys here, so you can see. So the iPhone is recording. I have the camera here. I'm just gonna set the exposure right and I'm gonna make a shot, a wide 16 millimeter shot coming from all the way down from the hall here and all the way up seeing the view. All right, and let's go. So you can see how that turned out. In the edit, I will show it here. That's basically how I do my behind the scenes. So I would typically go around the apartment and look for nice uh, movements to do. And when I have a nice movement, I just place my phone. I just place my phone in the shot, do the shot. All right, so for the photos, I want to show you here my settings. The settings I want to shoot in is breaking free photos. I want to shoot at ISO 250, f-stop 9. And you can see here on the little light, the little light meter here, that I in this shot I want it to be right there. So you see one two-step under, one two-step over, and one in the middle. So I use the shutter speed to adjust. Right now I'm 16 millimeter. I'm just gonna hold it in, and it will do free photos. I blend those in Photoshop to get the perfect HDR image. I just need to adjust to get the right exposure. Take the images, boom, boom, boom. Basically that's it, but the rest is in Photoshop and I have a video on how I, I Photoshop that uh, on my channel. You can see it up here. So. Go check that out and I will go I will go shoot these uh, images and I'll be right back with you with some TikTok thing what I do with my phone. It's a small walkthrough. 
Now I'm done with the pictures. I need to pack the camera back down because I need to use my phone to make a walkthrough. So, packing the camera down. For us, this video, I need the Osmo mobile. This is number, f this is the four. It's not the newest one. And I'm going to place the tripod underneath. Need both hands, so. The settings I use here is just 4K 25 frames. Everything else is in auto. Use the wide angle lens, 0.5. I shoot it in the Vimo app. What I will do is I'll make a path with the gimbal going from coming inside of the door and going around and see, stopping like this and coming back, seeing in this room and going, see in this room and try to make a pattern that makes sense to see everything at once and uh, I can't place you guys because you will get in the shot so I just need to put you in the closet for now. So see you in a bit and I will show you the result. So that's it. That's the walkthrough with the iPhone on the DJI gimbal. I'm done for the interior shoot. I shot a real estate video. I shot some pictures and some show me TikTok style walkthrough. Now I just have left to shoot some exterior. I will show you, but I don't think I will talk anymore. So. And maybe some drone, but I don't know. There's a police station just around the corner, so I don't know if I can allow to to fly outside. I'll show you how I shoot the exterior, but I think that's it for me talking. And so next time, see you around. Remember, go create. If you have any questions, just put it down in the comment. And remember to subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.